girls can use power tools too. To see what I did, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I sure hope that you all enjoy the way this project turns out and I would love it if you would leave me a comment and I'd also love it if you gave me a big thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration and this collaboration is called Girls Can Use Power Tools Too. And this collaboration is being co-hosted by Natalie, Natalie of Design to Nines, and her co-host is Lisa Burningham. They're both outstanding content creators here on YouTube, and their channels consist of design, life and style, and DIYs. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. If you haven't seen their channels, stop by and check them out. I will also leave a link to the playlist down below in the description box so that you can check out the other content creators that participated in this collaboration. Now the details of the collaboration is that we must use power tools on camera. I'm going to use the power saw, the power drill. I'm going to be using uh, wood glue in addition to my powered screwdriver. I'm super excited to participate in this collaboration and today I'm going to share with you a decorative tray. I went to Home Depot and I picked up all the items to create this tray. Uh, and of course, the power tools I already have. I'm gonna borrow those from my hubby. But I did pick up some lumber. I actually picked up some MDF boards, two by two. Um, I picked up MDF as opposed to your traditional lumber because I, in my experience, the MDF holds paint a little better than your regular, um, than your standard pieces of wood. So I've got a piece, I've got a couple pieces of MDF. They were two by two. I also picked up some um, knobs, some cabinet knobs that I'm going to use on either side of the tray. I thought these were so pretty. They were simple. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see those. They were simple, but they were pretty. Just what I was looking for. Big enough for you to grab, sturdy enough for you to hold on to. So I'm going to use those on either side of the tray. So I couldn't decide whether I wanted to paint it black or gray. I already have a brown tray and a white tray. So I was leaning more towards a black tray and then I ran across this gray chalk paint and I thought about like doing a dry brushed distress look on top of the black with the chalk paint. Um, that's my thought process at the moment, subject to change without notice, so don't hold me to that. So I'm going to take you all with me as I go outside to cut the lumber and to put my decorative tray together. Let's go. Now I'm going to mark the measurements for my tray. I believe I'm going to do 19 by 24. Now that I've marked it at 19 inches, I'm going to cut. Now I switched over to the circular saw so that I can make the cuts for the decorative pieces of wood that will sit on top of the tray. Okay. 
Okay guys, I got all my cuts made. Now I'm gonna use some wood glue and screws and attach the decorative pieces to the top of the tray. After that, I'll paint it and I'll add the handle. Now I'm going to let that first coat dry for a couple of hours. I'll be back and do the second coat, and then all I have to do is add the handles. We're almost done. I've got the board pretty much done. I have cut the lumber, I have added the decorative strips, I have painted, I even put a stencil in the center that you'll see in just a moment. Right now, I'm going to add the felt pads to the back, and then I'm going to attach the handles. So now it's time to add the handles. As you can see, I added this stencil here in the center. After the paint, the light gray chalk paint dried, I went back with a granite gray in a satin finish. 
and I just laid down a stencil and painted it. I love the way that turned out. Now I'm going to add the handles and we're all done. I think it's very pretty and I love how the fact that I was worried about the um, I was worried about these being exposed but with my pad here I think it's still pretty safe so I love that it protects the furniture it's large enough for me to use for a vignette uh, to decorate and the colors allow me to use it for winter spring summer and fall and I love that so let me show you how I stage it thank you all so very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the way my decorative tray turned out. I also want to thank Natalie of Design to Nines and Lisa Birmingham for inviting me to participate in the Girls Can Use Power Tools 2 challenge. I had lots of fun and I liked the way my decorative tray came out. And if you enjoyed it too, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Again, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!